Hey everybody, good afternoon. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. Um, I know it's been blessed and I can thank God for that. Thank you, Jesus. You deserve all the praise and all the glory that there is to give. Um, you know, a lot of people, they say, well, sister, all you talk about is how wonderful God is and how wonderful the blessings are. But let me tell you, even on my worst day, even on my best day, I'm still going to tell you how wonderful God is and how wonderful his blessings are to me. You know, that means a lot to me. Um, we are only human. And let me tell you, the Bible says it rains on the just and the unjust alike. So that's okay. If you're a sinner, you're, the trouble's going to come. If you're a Christian, the trouble's going to come. You know, you're going to have good and bad either way. Because that's what the Bible says. And the word is true. The, the truth is stand where nothing else will. The truth is stand. Um, a lot of times we go through troubles and trials. And we, you know, we don't know which way to go. We'll be so upset. And sometimes, some of us, we, we always, um, we have re different reactions. Sometimes people, they just get real quiet when they're mad. Other times they don't want to be around people. Other people, they all ball crying, um, you know, and other times, there's some people just get real angry and they'll just tell you how they think. But, you know, we all are different, but we are all human in God's creation. And uh, we have to let our light shine. Um, but let me tell you about this. If anybody has ever read the book of Job, then you know what I'm talking about. There is this man in the Bible, his name is Job, and he was a perfect and upright man, one who feared God and escheweth evil, which means anything evil, anything of sin, he put it away. He didn't have time for it. He, he, he didn't like it. He didn't want nothing to do with it. So, the devil was not happy about old Job. The devil's like, well, let me see. He's got all his family, his friends, his cattle, his land. He's got all, all of everything that a man would want in this life. He's happy. He, he has this. He has that. Well, God, why don't you just take that hedge about him? Let me take some things away from him, and I'll show you that he won't put you in his life, number one. He won't serve you no more. He'll blast the thing you to your face. He'll curse you. And God said, yeah, go ahead. Take what you want. You can touch him. If you want to touch his body, his health, his something dear to him, but you ain't going to take his life. And he said, okay, well, the devil win. He took his his friends, his family, his cattle, his land. He took everything that old Job had. But yet Job stood on that solid rock. He stood for Jesus. He said, you know, it's all right. Don't, you know, he didn't worry. You know, I know his flesh was weak because he was miserable. You know, he had sore bulls from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. He was hurting and in pain and in agony. His kids, they were dead. But let me tell you, he didn't curse God. He kept God number one. And he fought through the trouble and the trial. And you can read at the end of the book of Job where Job was blessed with more than what he had whenever he started. But that's the way we have to be today. We have to stand for God no matter what comes or goes, what no, what trouble comes or goes, what trial, even through the blessings, even through the troubles. And I tell you, keep God number one. Keep him in your life. Keep him right here. As much as you like this heart to be pumping and you like this breath of life to be breathing in and out, that's the way you ought to have God in your life. And I mean it. I mean it as much as I'm standing here and sitting here looking crazy. And that's all right with me. Because I love God. God bless you.